Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be checking out these three AIO cameras. Now these are from AKK and these were also provided to me by AKK for an overview video. Now I did accept because two of these have some pretty awesome features. Actually one has just like a super awesome feature. I don't know if you could read it real quick. So one of them is just a normal 600 TVL line, uh, 25 milliwatt camera. We'll just check that out in a bit. This is also another one, but this has a video in and a video out. So if you wanted to connect an OSD to it, you could do that. And this has video in, video out, and smart audio. So that's just pretty cool for a small AIO camera, uh, which I thought was pretty interesting, actually. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this just yet. So this is the reason why I accept it. This is pretty awesome, actually. All right, so let's check out the coolest first, which is this one with smart audio. So this one is actually also selectable between 25 milliwatts up to 200 milliwatts. It's a 42 channel transmitter with a camera, obviously. It's a 600 TVL line. It doesn't say if it's a CCD or a CMOS, but I'm guessing it's a CMOS camera. And we do have smart audio, so that's pretty cool. So that means we can control this through Betafly. So if we take a look here, we have the video out. Uh, the video out would be basically this is the video out that goes to this VTX So this would come out on your video out on your flight controller and the yellow is the video in So this would go on you know your video in on your flight controller so you could route You know it'll pop through there go to the OSD get routed to this green line come to this VTX and just broadcast it back to your goggles So that's pretty cool and then we have ground and FCUR, the red one here. So just be careful with this. So this red one here is what's going to control your OS, your VTX through your Betaflight OSD. Uh, it's using smart audio, so that's just pretty cool. And obviously this is going to be power. And it takes anywhere between 3.3 volt to 3.2 volts to 5.5 volts. So that's just pretty cool right there. So this one's very nice. This is the one that really caught my eye just because it has so much functionality. However, it is a little bit larger than the others. So take that into consideration. Also, we'll get their weight in a little bit right now. So this is the one with the smart audio here. Let's go ahead and check the other one with the video in and video out. All right, here it is. And I really like how they have the uh, dipolar antennas already soldered on. Uh, I really like it this way, so I don't have to worry about ruining an IPEX port because those are very annoying when they get ruined. And as you can tell, this one here, just the only feature it has is a video in video. And I believe this is just a 25 milliwatt output power on this guy. It's a 48 channel uh, VTX on this guy, 600 TVL line. And yeah, like I said, it's a 25 um, milliwatt output power on this guy. And if you take a look here, manual, you'll see video in, video out, ground, 3.3 volts, 5.5 volts. So that's pretty cool. So it does have LEDs on the back to tell you what uh, channel you're on and, and just all that kind of crazy good stuff. So try not to lose the manual because these can get kind of annoying when you try to figure out what channel you're on here. All right, so last but not least out of the bunch, we have this one. This one is just a basic one. It does come with the IPEX port here, as you can tell, and they do provide that for you. So you got your power right there. Uh, this doesn't have any video in, video out, but what you can do is you could hijack it from here. It's a little bit of a painful process or annoying process at that sometimes to kind of get do that if you needed to, but um, you, it's totally possible here. So this is just a normal one. It's also a little bit bigger than that one right there with the video in, video out. And um, let's just check some of its specs here. All right, so it's also a 600 TVL line. It's just up to 25 milliwatt broadcast power. The input voltage is just like the other, 3.2 to 5.5 volts on uh, this 600 TVL line. It has 120 degrees field of view. All of them have 120 degree field of view, so they're possibly using around the same camera in a way. And... Um, it's that's really it i mean i think this one no this one doesn't even have that so it's just it's just a basic one um you know one of those basics like you could just get anywhere so that's pretty cool so yeah akk is the manufacturer so if you ever see some product that looks like this from another company it's akk who rebranded it for that person or company or whatever so yeah take that into consideration so these are pretty cool little aio micros that were sent for review um they're just little awesome little guys i really like this one the most because this one is just awesome up to 200 milliwatts so if i get a little micro the 25 milliwatt all-in-one i'm probably gonna switch it out for this because i could just control this this is this is really cool for me i mean um 
it's, it's such a small little tiny camera too it's just crazy i still remember the eashin tx03 that one was selectable but it was like i think it was like that big or something it was a, it was a little bit bigger than this one but overall, uh, here they are. If anyone was interested, I'll leave a link to these down below. And like I mentioned before, these were provided by AKK for an overview video. And that's it, guys. So that's going to include it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I would really love it if you consider joining my Patreon. We're going to do some awesome giveaways this month. And if you always use the links down below, those go greatly to support the channel. And please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.